welcome back to the channel and a preview of the 2000 guineas which is the biggest on the Saturday at Newmarket at 3.40 and it promises to be a very good renewal. I think we've got a monster at the top of the market and it's been a race that has chucked up so many good winners in years gone by. If you remember the iconic Frankel win quite a while ago now I'm not sure we're going to see a performance like that for a long time but we might just have a few horses capable of putting in a very good performance for sure. We've got Native Trail at the top of the market. Now he's been easy enough to back all day from last night into today to be honest. He was odds on. He's gone out to 6-5 to five in places which I think is quite surprising. I think quite a few punters will be looking for alternatives to the short, fight, short priced favourite but I think he's a rock solid horse who ever since his stepped course stepped foot on the race course from his debut at Sandown. That was a monstrous performance. Then he smashed up Royal Patronage who turned out to be a pretty decent horse by four lengths and he's hit the line strongly in all of his starts over the seven furlongs. He finished off last year's two year old campaign winning the Dewhurst which usually is a good indicator of the guineas the following season. If you're winning the Dewhurst then you're probably going to be near the top of the market and make no mistake Native Trail, Trail did win that very impressively for sure. He had a recent comeback on April the 13th at Newmarket in the Craven over the mile. He usually does hit a flat spot mid race where he just maybe didn't have the gear for that immediate turn of foot but once he got out of that William Buick straightened him up got a little bit serious, not too serious but he quickened pretty nicely in the end and hit the line very strongly, won by three and a half lengths, beat Kit Claymore who yeah, Mal, who ran today, didn't run too badly. It wouldn't be a form boost, but also wouldn't be a negative for this horse. And the trainer comments after that race was he'll take a step forward for that, both mentally and physically, which is very important, you'd think, getting him used to being back on a racetrack, because it was a long absence he'd overcome from October into April. So nice to get a run into him and settle him down and get him fully prepared for the 2000 guineas. William Buick and Charlie Appleby, they seem to be winning everything at the minute, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if this horse won. They've also got the second favourite in the back in the bet in the trainer, Coribus runs. He's got an official rating of 115 compared to Native Trail, who has an official rating of 122. So he does have a little bit to find, but I think he's definitely a horse on the up. He's had three starts at Newmarket, all of them over the same course and distance that I'll be running on today. That's definitely a positive. There's probably, it always is when horses come to Newmarket for the first time, will they handle the track? Well, there'll be no concerns about this. He's had the three starts, won twice, and he chucked the Royal Lodge away against Royal Patronage, but he was definitely the best horse coming away from that day. I just thought once he settles down and learns his trade a little bit more he'll be a very good horse and he showed that next time he got revenge when winning the autumn sticks at the back end of the season in October beat Imperial Fighter by two lengths it was a long way back to the third Dubai Poet then throw pulled clear of pretty much the remaining horses in the race so that's a piece of pretty strong form and the question is will the fact that he's not had a prep one affect the horse because native trial has them but I think for the 2000 guineas trainers have these horses 100% anyway so it wouldn't be too much of a concern but I would be pretty confident that native trial would be beating Coribus and you can tell by their jockey bookings William Buick on native trial James Doyle usually the second string jockey book and he takes the ride of Coribus but Buick has got it on a few times so has Ryan Moore actually who's on Luxembourg he's joint second favourite in the betting at 11 to 2. He was very low last year in all his three starts over the mile, but he finished off winning at Doncaster, the group one there, in October, late October. That was very impressive. He might not have beaten the most, the best horses in the world, but he pretty much won a group one under hands and heels and didn't know his job too much in front. You'd think he's one that could mature mentally over the summer, maybe fill out his form a little bit more as well and he's going to be a serious horse for the future. I think he might want an extra couple of furlongs, whether is one mile, two furlongs or even one and a half miles in time. I think he'll definitely get that trip. I think he might fall short today, just might not have the turn of foot that some of other horses have on this fast ground over the mile. A horse that'll definitely have 
the turn of foot if he can be there is perfect power who's 14 to 1 joined by Richard Fahey now he won the Norfolk last season over five furlongs on fast ground so he's probably the fastest horse in this race that was a very impressive run and his recent comeback when he was stepped up to seven furlongs was impressive he won it comfortably enough in the end at Newbury beat last July by just over a length and a quarter but the thing is he steps up another furlong again and I think this might just be a little bit too far for this horse even you normally get a strong even gallop in the 2000 guineas and I just think this might catch him out and he might just be fading at the line when others are hitting the line pretty strongly they've got a very good jockey book in, in Christoph Sumion but I just think that this horse will be staying out the distance he's a lovely horse probably one to keep maybe to sprint in distances or seven furlongs in time but I just can't see him winning this but I think he'll have a big season ahead of him for sure and the last one I'm going to mention is Aidan O'Brien's presumably second choice string which Frankie de Tori rides, rides and it's Point Lonsdale who came with a very big reputation and he won the Chesham Stakes at Ascot he did that pretty nicely beating Reach for the Moon who's turned out to be a decent horse for the Queen as well and all was looking good for this horse until he got pretty much outgunned by Native Trial in the Vincent O'Brien National Stakes at the Curra. He was beaten by three and a half lengths with no obvious excuse that day. Native Trail just absolutely wiped the floor with him but I just think with all the reputation he was sent off 8-13 to 13 against Native Trail. I just can't help thinking that connections think there's more to come from this horse and Frankie de Tori booked in the 2000 guineas. He's got a pretty good record in the classics in his career. He knows how to win one and I think at 14-1 to 1, he would be a little bit of an each way player for me. Summing up the race just to finish off, I think Native Trail at 6-5 to five will take the world of beating. It's not an original choice, but I think he's definitely the most likely winner of this race. And 6-5, to five, there might be a little bit of value there because he's just so far clear on official ratings. Of course, we don't know who else is going to improve from the 2-year-old to 3-year-old campaign, but I think Native Trail is definitely a bet at 6-5. to five. If we look at some of the bigger price ones, as I mentioned, Point Lonsdale at 14-1, to one, I can see him running into the place and chucking up one at a massive price. I think Tarsalib Bear, joined by Richard Hannon, his horses are running pretty well at the minute. It's 125 to 1. I think he's going to have a lot to find. Well, he does have a lot to find, but his recent comeback behind New Science wasn't the worst done in the world over. The seven furlong stepped up in trip to the mile I think that might suit him a little bit more and at 125 to 1 I think I might just have a few pence each way with some bookies going out five places I'm pretty sure so worth a little dabble there but thanks a lot for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned because I'll have a preview for the 1000 guineas coming very shortly as well